Woo, it's very early. Can you tell? Today, super quick one. I always say that and then they end up like 17 minutes. Today, there is no flashes at all. Today, we will only use LED flashlights. This one, a regular flashlight. I hope I can put the link down below to my Amazon shop. They're very cheap. You can find them on Amazon like 10 bucks, probably. This one I happened to buy in, of all the places on earth, I bought it in a hardware store in East Hampton, outside of New York City. Ooh, what can you do? That one we will use and also this one, UV light, ultraviolet light, and I will show you soon why. So these two guys, two LED flashlights, that's all we will build up this image with today. So let's start to take the first shot. So if I take a shot, total black frame. And why is that? Well, we have shutter speed 200, aperture 16. ISO 100. That's what we normally shoot with, with flashes, because we don't want to have the ambient light in the room affecting our shots. But today, we're going to light paint with these guys, and then we need longer shutter speed. I think we can work with two seconds. At aperture 16, you'll see that we get these LED lights in the shot. So I have to make sure it's we work in the dark. So I will turn off the LED lights and then we can take another one because we need to make sure it's a black frame so we will only see the LED lights. Yeah, now we get a black frame, we shut off the LED. So I have to shut off, it will be a lot of um, work in the dark. I will start with this side and I will, I will paint. See if two seconds is enough. Yes, you see the left side there. Maybe we can go to, we need a bit longer time. Let's go for four seconds. See how that goes. Do we get a bit more light? Yeah, that's kind of nice. And then I go to the other side, shoot, and then I will paint on this. Let's see what we will get. Right side, yeah, beautiful. And what's next? I will try to make a spot on the laces here. So that's the, that's the next one. Shoot. Maybe it's enough with like two seconds on this one. It should not be too bright. It wasn't really centered. I will take another one. Yeah, let's go for that one. I think we need one for the top. Just a tiny bit. Shoot. Let's see how that one. Yeah, a bit on the top. Maybe I will not use all of them to put them together in Photoshop. But it's good to have too many, yeah? So can throw some away. So let's take on the lower part. Four seconds. Yeah, let's go for that one. We have this logo on the top here. Maybe I should take one somehow. Maybe we would like to show that one. Yes, maybe we will use that one. Now we come to the UV light. Inside here, they have this fluorescent material. So this UV light will pick up this like crazy. I can stand over here by the camera. So let's take that one. Probably I just need like two seconds or something because it's super, super bright. Yeah, like that. And for the final shot, I would like to lit up this inside. So I will stick the light inside the shoe like this and make sure that I don't touch it. Yes, let's go for that. There we have all the shots. I almost forgot. Now we need to do the background and I will use this um, UV light and I will take this. I will hold it like this. If I shut off the LEDs and if I try to make some patterns behind the shoe, something cool, we will do a few variations and see which one we will use. And I wonder what shutter speed we should use. Maybe two seconds is enough. Yes, I will set it to two seconds. Now we go dark again. Mm. Let's try again. That's a cool one. Now we're done around 20 something. Probably we can find one of them to use as a background. So that's it for today. Now you have to watch the post-production that will come after this. So, dear subscribers, we just hit 5,000. 5,000. Maybe you saw on the, on the community tab 
on my channel that I posted, there is a 5K mug that you have a chance to, to get. All you have to do is to subscribe here on YouTube and also follow me on Instagram. And third, leave a comment. You don't have to suggest what I should shoot. You can leave any kind of comment because then I will randomly pick one of you guys in the comments and I will send out the 5K pink espresso mug, okay? I wish I could send out mugs to all 5,000 of you, but, but I will send out one to show that I'm very happy that you are subscribing. Thank you so much, all of you. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>